should not be a struggle. Then foc dharana is focus, uh, dhyana, holding on to that focus. This Pratyahar, I remember Swami Ranganathanandaji, he used to come to IIT Kanpur campus long back, I think in the 70s maybe, or 60s. I have seen his books in our Belurmat library, the books he donated, he was a voracious reader. All of his books, you can easily know it is Ranganathanandaji's books because they are all heavily underlined. Lot of uh, remarks are there where he agrees, where he disagrees, where something reminds him of himself something else, questions he has got, everything he puts down. Now imagine the kind of involvement in that book. The Bhagavad Gita also says this. In one chapter, uh, Sri Krishna asks Arjuna, be completely in, uh, you know, concentrated on God. So I am sure just like you, Arjuna would have scratched his head. Mm. Then he says, if you cannot do that also, then whatever work you are doing, you connect it, you offer it to me. So the daily work which you are doing, you are studying, your work in the kitchen or your work in the office, you offer it to God. You are connecting your daily work to God. Now you see how concentration is helping concentration by involving uh, other things in the world. Swami Abhedanandaji, one of the disciples of Sri Ramakrishna, I read a reminiscence by a a young a person who said, when I was young, I used to go to visit Swami Abhedanandaji and he would meditate. He was quite old at that time and I would see he would meditate, you know, he would sit for meditation, he would rock his body back and forth a little bit, then as if he's a stone statue, he will sit and that's it. Three hours later, he will open his eyes, like a rock he's sitting. And this boy, he would ask, Swamiji, within two minutes I get bored. How can you sit like this? without moving at all for three hours. And he would joke, in Bengali he would say, Budo Shadur Dhan Kina, I'm an old monk, I've been meditating for so many years. But it's this thing, ability to pull everything out from the world and put it on the object of meditation. Swami Vivekananda, it was natural for him. In New York, he used to go for lectures, and in those days he would have trams, and, or in San Francisco, I think. And he would go, go on the tram, and he would get so absorbed in, the, in his thoughts, the tram would take the entire circuit of the city and come back, more than once. And he would be ashamed of this, you know. He would say that, oh, you have to remind me, I have to go for the class. The concentration, tremendous concentration was absolutely natural to him. There are so many stories about that. And that focus, dharana is focus, dhyana is unbroken concentration, deepens into, let's call it flow, let's call it a higher kind of flow. So here I am breaking it up again, moral life, disciplined life, good posture, deep breathing, regular breathing, don't be like a you know, boiler, <laughs> regular breathing, withdrawing from the world, remember the snake, then dharana, holding on the focus, then unbroken focus, flow. This is what our uh, Patanjali Yoga also has to say about Can't